Hey guys, welcome back. In this session, we are going to create multiple device collections using PowerShell and we will move those collections in a specific folder. So what happened in the previous sessions when we were creating collections using PowerShell, what exactly it was happening is it was getting created in the default user collection and device collections. But in this session, what we are going to do is we will create multiple device collections and those collections will be moved to multiple folders. So let me take you to my SACM console. And you see last time what happened when we created the collections, basically it created here in device collection, in user collection here. And when you go to device collection, it created here. But in this session, we are gonna create multiple folders here, and then we will move those collections into those folders. And we don't have to do it manually. Everything will be done through PowerShell. So what we are going to do is we will click on this and we'll click on connect via Windows PowerShell ICE. And once it is launched, we need to click on this run script so that it will get connected with SCCM. As you see, PS1. PS1 is my site code. Okay. Make sure your site code, make a note of your site code. PS1, that's the, that's the site code I have. Then what I'm going to do is I'll go to Internet Explorer and I'm going to go to HTTPS colon slash slash tinyurl.com slash MECM power. And that's going to take me to my Google Drive and here the script is written here. What do you have to do? You need to copy this. You know, when you go scroll down, the the script which says create device collections in SCCM using PowerShell and move it to a specific folder. So what I have to do, I need to start copying from a step number one till a step number four till here. I'm gonna right click or you do control C on the keyboard to copy and then go back to PowerShell and open a new script and paste it here. Let me explain this script step by step. So first step is to create folder. Okay. So basically it is going to create folder, Google Chrome, Firefox, 7-zip, M remote, VLC media player, and Visio. And it is going to create the folder in PS1. That's my site code. If you have a different site code, make sure you change the site code. My site code is PS1. As you see here, PS1. That's the reason I have mentioned PS1 here, PS1 here. PS1, 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 and PS1. So make sure your site code is written properly. Then the second step is to create device collection. So I'm going to create six device collection, Google Chrome device collection, Firefox device collection, 7-zip device collection, M remote, VLC media player, and Visio device collection. These are six device collections. Then Step number three is basically to define variable. So collection number one is basically is equal to this. Okay, get CM device collection. Basically, it is getting the information about collection. That is Google Chrome device collection. Collection number two, collection three, four, five, six. So basically, it is the variable to get the information about these collections. And then now step number four is to move these collections into the specific folder. So move CM object and then the variable what we have defined here in the step number three and PS1 is the site code. Make sure you enter your site code properly. I have PS1. That's the reason I have given PS1. Okay. Now what you have to do, you need to click on this run script and it's going to create six different collections and it is going to create six different folders and move those collections into those six folders. So it's done. If you go back to your SCCM console and uh, you need to close the console and open again, just to refresh. So I'm going to open the console again. So I close the console and now the console is getting open. And now if you go to device collection, because we have created device collections, right? If you expand the device collection, you see it created seven zip, Firefox, Google Chrome, M remote, Visio, and VLC media player. These are six folders it created. And in each folder, 
it created the collection. Seven Zip got Seven Zip collection. Then Firefox got Firefox device collection. Google Chrome folder has Google Chrome collection. M Remote has M Remote device collection. Visio, Visio collection, and VLC Media Player has VLC Media Player collection. So basically, it is making your life easier. You don't have to manually create all these folders and all these collections. So you just have to use the script and that is gonna make your life easier. So I hope the session was informative and I'll meet you in the next session. Thank you.